Hi everybody, welcome back to Thimbleweed Park. Here we are in the Mansion Mansion Library where we have just picked up uh, this book, the look at the programming of the SR01. And this is how we're going to do it. This is how we're going to get past the security systems inside the Pillow Factory. Programming the SR01 by Chuck Edmonds. The SR-01 security robot is the most aggressive and secure robot for sentry and protection duties. It can guard anything from simple rooms to large factories with the complete confidence of a Pillowtron tube. Advanced forward, backward and side facing radar provides complete coverage of the surrounding area. The SR-01 has been custom programmed to ignore the three laws of robotics and is extremely dangerous if used incorrectly. It is advised that a complete course in SR-01 certification is obtained before attempting maintenance. Okay, the easy access remote jumper programming box can be used to customize the type of guard duty you require. Any mode from passive monitoring, scheduled deterrence, to seek and destroy is available. Every two to three weeks the robot should be shut down for maintenance by jumpering the red jumper at F45, the green jumper at B23, and the blue jumper at G34. It's like Battleship. Uh, kinda. Maintenance should only be performed by a qualified and certified tech. By reading this manual, you waive any right to sue Pillowtronics for death or dismemberment. Alright, so, uh, red has to be at F45, green at B23, and blue at G34, and that's how we do it. Now I can reprogram those guard robots. Hell yes, you can. Okay, let's get the heck out of here. Man, at some point, I'm sure we're gonna get a shovel from Doug, right? But I guess we have to do the factory stuff first. The factory stuff's gotta be the end. Maybe all of those things are just red herrings and we don't need to do any of that shit. We don't need Doug's shovel for anything. Because I have a feeling we're gonna find out, like, what's going on. Back here, Ray, what are you doing out here? You're just having a smoke? She just refuses to go in. Because she herself is a robot. Everybody else is just chilling right here. Alright, let's get to it then. We're gonna walk down here. Oh, shit. Shit, the fucking alarm is still on. Unbelievable. Alright, let's see. We have to go into this. So I'm really sorry about this. Okay, so it's F45 for red, B23 for green. F45 for red, B23. F4 and 5. And then B23. And then what was the last one? I, I, I can only remember two at a time. And then G34 for the blue. Now danger. G34 for the... SR01 robots in maintenance mode. It is oh. not safe to enter factory. Oh, thank that God. disable the robots. They don't seem disabled to me. She's having a good look to see. It looks all clear now. Fantastic. All right, here we go. Into the factory we go. Jesus, this is quite the pillow factory, isn't it? This is where they make the pillows look like a robot head by shooting a laser. Is that like some ion plasma or something? It's shooting right into the head of the robot. Nice. Oh, hang on a second though. Right here, there's a little speck of dust before we carry on. Um, I guess this is like some sort of um, weird radioactive chamber or something that lights up green and shows ahead as well. I mean, every factory need one, needs one, I guess. Oh, shit, yeah, here we go, another speck. How many specks of dust are we up to? We've got to be getting close now. Twelve more specks. Okay, there's a whole, there's a corridor here. Okay, there's only a corridor here. I'm just gonna quickly scan around and make sure I haven't missed anything in here. It's just a corridor. Alright, no problem, we're in a corridor. There's another speck of dust here. That's our third speck of dust inside this place. It's kind of crazy. Um, fuck me. This, this, there's some high-tech technical shizwas available for all to see inside this factory. Virus installed. Uh-oh. Installing virus. Oh, look. All of these floppy disks are filled with viruses. Maybe this is what's happened. Maybe this is what's happened to the Pillow Factory. A virus has just had its wicked way with all of the AI. Holy crap. What's that? Our fifth speck of dust? There's a black door with a... It's a foolproof electronic locking mechanism. Can I use it? Nothing happens. Okay, there's a blast door here. There's also a water fountain in case we want to fill up our trademark infringing poopsie. 
I don't want to waste it on that. No, can we it, contaminate the water? I don't with want the... to contaminate that. Sure you do, Dolores. Don't be such a puss, for Christ's sake. There's a nice that calendar here. That picture looks familiar. Kind of like Thimbleweed Park without any buildings. Oh, I see. I don't want to pick that up. Okay, can we go it's in here? It's locked. Oh, it's locked. Oh, is this where we need the office key, possibly? Who has the office key? Was it Ray or is it Reyes? Reyes, do you have the office key? No. Did I give it to Ransom for some dumb reason? No, I did not. Ray must have it. There's the factory key here. Where is the office key? What, does Dolores actually have it? She can't. I think, oh, she, she does. Okay, let's use the office key in the door. It works. Wonder, there's another journal and another, okay. This looks familiar, doesn't it? This is where Chuck was doing all of his monitoring. There's a computer terminal here. There's another painting. Let's see. Uh, there's a trap door down here, too. Some I sort of think I've seen this painting somewhere before. Like where, This though? painting is firmly nailed to the wall. Okay, let's pick up this glass or maybe pour some poopsie into it. Okay, we now have a glass. There's another journal here. It's Chuck's journal, volume two. Entry 3668. It is true. A lot makes sense now. Where is Dolores' mother? Interesting. <laughs> Entry 5129. Been spending more and more time in the lab with the AI and our text adventure. It's unlocking some interesting mysteries. My previous assumptions about it and the world seem to be correct. Entry 5201. More research and falling deeper into this rabbit hole. Odd things I never considered before are making sense. Thimbleweed Park has 80 residents, but 3,000 people in the phone book. I did, it didn't make sense until I considered the impossible. <laughs> Entry 5201. Oh my god, this is terrifying. Entry 5202. The AI says there is only one way, but I've started to suspect it. Is it telling me the truth? Entry 5203. We are being watched. I am being watched. The AI is not what it says it is. I knew it. Entry 5205. I am now convinced the AI is not an AI at all, but something else. Something from a different world. The same world the people from the phone book are from. <laughs> okay, Chuck is definitely losing it now. Entry 5205. Again, it's a double entry. I created a small Tron tube that lives deep in my text adventure and it is uncoupled from us. It keeps counting up and up. We must be resetting. It's 5205 all the time now. I need to go deeper. The deeper I go, the less they can watch me. They aren't paying attention to what happens below. They are only watching at the surface. Fools. Franklin keeps trying to get the factory restarted to make stuffed animals. I can't let this happen. My world will be discovered. I need more power. Reverse radio transmissions might do it. Franklin has been taken care of. I'd feel bad if he was my real brother. Uh-oh. Franklin called a foreign investor to come in and evaluate the factory for possible investment. The AI says I need to stop this. I don't know if I can trust the AI. Maybe I can. I have a plan to deal with the foreign investor. I'll set the gears in motion. I can't tell if everything is unraveling or coming together. Another reset. I can feel them now even without the uncoupled tube. The Pillotron machine is done. The text adventure is perfect. I don't think they noticed. I can hide there. But before I go, I need to leave Dolores some clues. If anyone can figure it out, it's her. Oh, I, maybe Chuck is still alive inside the text adventure game. This has to stop. There's only one way. I'm sorry. Ignorance is truly bliss. If only I had stayed ignorant. If I just let Franklin make his stuffed toys, we'd be rich and ignorant. Living in, living in. I can't think about this. Okay. It's going backwards now. It's 5203 and 520. This is my last journal entry. I'd say more, but they can read this. I've hidden the clues all around Thimbleweed Park. I need to be careful they are not noticed by them. They need to think it was their idea. Dolores will see through it. Please, Dolores, be as smart and resourceful as I know you are. Goodbye. Okay. Well, we kind of now have a better understanding of what was happening to Chuck. So the AI has turned on Chuck and is controlling him. And we now have a pirate hat. Nice. We have a fucking... Okay, Dolores now has a pirate hat that she is wearing. Sweet. Maybe we have to, like, fool the AI or something? Uncle Chuck was really creepy. Who was he watching? He was, like, watching everybody. Can we actually use this computer terminal? I better find the disk before I can do it. Please insert terminal boot disk. Okay, well, I actually do have a hacker boot disk. Should we use the hacker boot disk in the terminal? It's booting up. Uh-oh. Dolores. Oh. I feared you would come. <laughs> Uncle Chuck? <laughs> Where are you? I have uploaded myself into the Pillow Factory's master computer. Of course. Pillowtron? You uploaded yourself to Pillowtron? Not just the Pillowtron, but the Pillowtron 3000 TM. And I am now more intelligent and powerful than anyone in the world. Oh, the God. things I know would blow.
blow your mind. This is your mind. This is your mind blown. And there is nothing you can do to stop me. The computerized world will bend to my every will. Oh, Uncle Chuck, Chuck. You have lost your mind. No, Dolores, I have gained a mind. A more powerful mind. A mind linked to the fabric of creation. Oh, join Chuck. me, Dolores, before it's too late. I will not join you, Uncle Chuck. I will find you and stop this insane plan of yours. <laughs> uh oh. Let the games begin. Ah, oh, shit. It's going to be like Running Man, isn't it? Find out what happened to Dad. Go deeper into the factory to find out what happened to Uncle Chuck. Collect eight more specks of dust. There is definitely a trap door here, right? But I don't seem to be able to fall down it. Like, it, to get into... Maybe it'll drop me in a dungeon and I'll be able to pick up a banana picker or something. No? Just me? Okay, fine. Oh, this leads outside. How do we go deeper into the factory? I guess we have to get past this blast door. Maybe uh, this is a time for the C4. It's probably uh, being held by Ray. Did I give you this, Ray? Yes, I did. Okay, Ray. If you don't, what's this? Oh, it's just like some some foliage. It's fine. Okay. I thought maybe it was something more than a little bit of foliage, but it is not. Um, okay, into this door, Ray. We need you to C4 the blast door. All right. Use the C4 explosive on the blast door. Okay, perfect. Now, how the hell do we um, activate? Can we use the strange tool on the C4? It doesn't seem to fit that. No. I'm sure it has a very important use near the end of the game. Okay, Ray says steal the secret of the Pillow Factory AI. Go deeper into the factory to steal the secret of the AI and collect eight more specks of dust. Useful. Okay, Ransom, you're up. There's one more thing that we can try here, I think, um, and it involves... Your stupid little lighter, even though I don't think you can actually light C4 on fire, like I think it needs like a, some sort of current or something. Uh, but, I mean, what do I know, right? It's the official Ransom the- it's the official- it, it, it's- it's the official Ransom the Cloud candy barfer. It's supposed to dispense one piece of candy each time oh, it you works. use it, but it emits deadly sparks instead! Take cover! It's gonna blow! I knew it! Uh... <laughs> oh! Oh! Nice! It did work! Alright, good job, Ransom. Uh, we have, um, go deeper into the factory to find my prototype doll and collect eight more specks of dust. Alright, Dolores, you're up. We're gonna, we're gonna lead the charge with Dolores, because Dolores seems to be, uh, good at hacking things and There's a stair programming and shit like that. Okay, here we go, another speck of dust. My evil computer control robot arms are too powerful for you! Can we not walk to certain death? How, how are we gonna get past this? I'm not going in there. There is no way to get by my computer control robot arms of death! How are we gonna get past these computer controlled robot arms of death? Of 3000 PM. Can we, um. Um. You are all doomed against the AI power of Pillowtron 3000. PM. Maybe. I'm not going Maybe in there. we can use the poopsie on it. Alright, Reyes. What is what is it saying for you? Go deeper in the factory to find evidence to clear my father. Collect seven more specks of dust and find evidence that. Okay. You know, there's still a couple of things that we haven't done yet. Like, uh, for instance, there's the whole matter of Doug and his shovel. Which I'm starting to think maybe we do need a shovel again now. I, I, I can't, I get this nagging feeling in the back of my mind that this shovel is definitely needed. I wonder if he can, like, trigger this trap or something. Or maybe he can use the computer terminal? I don't understand computers. Okay, Dolores, we're gonna have to get you, you back up here. Never... Dolores, you're gonna have to go into the office and try to, like, hack these arms or something. Password, uh, Pillowtronics, Pillow OS V2. Welcome to Pillowtronics Master Computer. Uncle Chuck would have kept his password somewhere safe, of course. Um, what do you think his password is? Dolores. Pillowtron 1. Chuck123. ABCD123. Password. Okay. So we do need to actually get his finger. Oh, maybe he hit the glass. Oh, ho, ho! Race? Thanks. Okay, race. Here we go. We're going to use the fingerprint kit on the glass. And now we're going to use the sticky tape on the fingerprints. 
And now we're gonna give the fingerprint to Thanks. Find a fucking Lee. I knew it. Okay. Now get over there to the manor manor mansion mansion thing. Okay, we're gonna get his secret password. Oh fuck me. It's all coming together. All Doug, give me that fucking thing for Christ's sake, you son of a bitch. I know I know Doug you know what? I bet you somehow Doug is like like Chuck is his soul is inside of Doug or something. It's gonna Doug is gonna play a huge part in this. I just know it. Okay, anyway. Now let us use this fingerprint on the fingerprint reader Tron 3000. It worked. We have the safe. That worked. What's There's inside? There's something inside. It's a book. Okay, look at the book. Chuck's passwords, top secret, CompuServe, Comp S123, Prodigy, Secret 2, The Source, Chuck 2CH, Office Computer, that's a crazy one. Genie, Password 123, Quantum Link, Habitat, BBS Games, and BBS News. P.S. Think of better passwords. Okay, um, what was the one that we needed? Well, now that we've read these, it'll probably be an option, right, at the thing? Okay, so let's go back to the factory, and let's get Dolores on computer hacking duty. Okay, go in here, the terminal. Um, it's got to be this crazy one, I guess. Last long in eight days ago from Terminal 1. Uh, do we want directory, factory, status, tic-tac-toe, adventure, the Chuck mod, or enough computers for now? Let's go to the fact, let's go to the directory. Um, let's go to, what has he got? He's got games, tubes, and temp. Let's go to tubes. Let's check out the factory status. Uh, Pillowtron is operational. Main door is open. SRO1 guards maintenance modes. Floor machines are operational. The office door is unlocked. The robot hall is deadly, and the laser hall is also deadly. Um, but the Pillowtron 3000 temp is cool. Let's play some tic tac toe. All right, my I know exactly how to win tic tac toe. Okay, you have to start. You got to get the corners. So we're gonna go top row, uh, left column. Okay, it's thinking now. Okay, now that that's that screws me over though. Top row, uh, let's go for the right column. It is gonna screw me a little bit, and now we're gonna have to go uh, bottom row, middle, center column. Okay, there we go. Now he's screwed. Now he's not gonna be able to win, and we might be able to win. So now we have to go um, middle row, left column, to prevent him from winning. He's got to put his there. It's gonna be a stalemate. Okay, so bottom row, right column. Thinking, it's a tie game. Okay, maybe we could try to win again. Tic-tac-toe, let's go, this time let's go top row, right column, and hope he doesn't put one in the middle. If he puts one in the middle, I'm quitting. Okay, I'm tired of tic-tac-toe. <laughs> Adventure, the Chuck mod. Welcome to Colossal Dungeon Cave Quest 2, written and programmed by Ron Gilbert, copyright 1981, mods by Chuck, Ed Chuck Edmund. You wake up in a damp, dank room. The floor is hard stone, a dim light. Oh, shit. Okay, hang on a second. We have to do this, I bet you. Uh, enough computers for now. We have to use the... on the hint book, remember? Okay, fame, text, and blah, blah. When entering the Colossal Dungeon Cave, heading to the east will cause instant death. Head to the west and look around. There isn't much to see, but you might notice something important. It is rumored the designers hid something here, but it's never been found. It might just be a red herring. Head to the west again. You will find yourself in a room with a beam of light. So we have to go west twice. Uh, warning while the chamber with the robots issuing the secret debug word. Oh, with the robots issuing the secret debug word. Fizz scum will hard crash the game and take down the entire computer, forcing a lengthy reboot. Okay, so we go west twice, apparently. Okay, let's try this. We're gonna do the text adventure game, and we're gonna go west. Let's go west. Um, let's look around. You're in a long stone corridor with an exit to east and west. It smells of death. Look around. Uh, okay, we looked around. We're still here. Let's go west again. You're in a large room with a beam of light coming in from an opening above. A river can be heard to the north. Okay, let's look around. We've looked around. Let's go to the light. The opening is too high to reach. Um, okay. Let's look around. Okay, let's go north then. The path leads to a dead end. There is no way out except the way you came in from the south. Uh, say fizz scum. There are strange cave paintings on the walls. 
Dumping core memory rebooting. Oh. Rebooting. We've rebooted the computer, apparently. The backup store, the cognitive subsystems, Chuck store, ad lib driver, hymem.sys. You're not doing this without me. Hey! Wait for me! Oh, they're all here now. Uh oh. Oh, I see. Just in case people get, like, stuck outside, they'll have to run. I think we're locked in here now. Yeah, but yeah, who cares? Well, Dolores has a pirate hat! Oh, Fool. shit. You are trapped in the factory with no possible escape. My intellect now spans millions of tubes and is no match for your little brains. Man. This is the last chance to join me before I destroy you all. The Shall hell? we take a vote? All Chuck. in favor of joining Uncle Chuck inside the magical mind of the Pillotron <laughs> 3000 DM and ruling the world with him say, I. I. Me. No. No. Very well. All in favor of being crushed by robot claws and burned by lasers and remaining pathetic mortals say, I. I. No. I. I. Abstain. Yeah, so good one. <laughs> Let no one say I don't support a strong democracy and the will of the people. <laughs> You will now all die. Uh-oh. Oh! Huh! The escape! Wait, we still gotta get Franklin out into the afterlife as well. And the crystal and stuff. There's still things to do. Alright, listen. We have made progress once again, believe it or not. Unbelievable. We are well and truly inside the Pillow Factory. And uh, we've, we've done a whole bunch of stuff. We have to venture deeper. Uh, we have to do some things. I don't know why that just buzzed, but we'll find out next time. Excellent. Well, as usual, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you next time!